Hello kids, welcome to our class. Today we're gonna see a new story. This is the story of George Gerbil. You can use your pace of word building or animal science. Page 16. George Gerbil was a gigantic gerbil. Among all the other gerbils, you will always see George Gerbil. His head stuck up above all the others when the gerbils lined up to play a game. Though George Gerbil was a rather gigantic gerbil, he had a very nice disposition. In fact, George Gerbil was such a quiet and patient gerbil that everyone said to him, Come on, George Gerbil, stand up for yourself! Don't be so patient! Still, George Gerbil was patient. He knew it was right. One day, a huge fudge truck came to town. It seemed to have enough fudge for everybody in the state. You have never seen so much fudge in your life. There was carob fudge, white fudge, caramel fudge, and peanut butter fudge. All the little gerbils gather around until you could hardly see the fudge truck because of the little gerbils. A man with jolly red cheeks and shiny blue eyes jumped out of the fudge truck. Come on, little gerbils, you will have to budge a bit, or I will never have been able to get the door of the fudge truck open. I want to buy some fudge, said one little gerbil. Of course you do, said the fudgeman. You shall have some fudge too, but first you will have to wait until the fudge judge has tasted all the fudge. Then I will sell the fudge. Page 17. About that time, a wrinkle-crossing looking aged man in a blue suit came out of his little brown house. There's the fudge judge now, said the man with the fudge truck. Let's see what he thinks about our fudge. All the gerbils gathered closer, all but your gerbil, that's it. He stood back politely and let everyone else get in front of him. Come on, your gerbil, his friends cried. You won't get any fudge if you just stand there. Come on! Your gerbil will not move, will not shove, and will not budge. Your gerbil just stood patiently as he always did. First, said the fudge truck man to the fudge judge, I want you to try our beautiful carob fudge. He cut off a nice chunk and handed it to the fudge judge. All the little gerbils' mouths began to water. What delicious looking fudge! The fudge judge made an unpleasant face as he tasted the carob fudge. That fudge is... Uh, I did say it is medium soft. I never did care much for carob fudge. The little gerbils couldn't believe it. How could anyone taste such delicious looking fudge and make such a face? The gerbils pressed closer, smelling the good smells of the carob fudge. Now, sir, said the fudge truck man to the fudge judge, here is some of our famous peanut butter fudge. The wrinkled little aged man opened his mouth and popped the delicious smelling square of peanut butter fudge. Oh, it smelled delicious! Every little gerbil except George Gerbil, that is, pressed closer to sniff the aroma of the peanut butter fudge. That fudge is just too sweet, said the fudge judge. Now try our wonderful white fudge judge, said the fudge truckman. Again, the wrinkled aged man made a face and tasted the fudge. Now, that fudge, he said, thinking seriously, it's too hard. By this time, the fudge man could hardly reach in his truck to get the caramel fudge because the little gerbils were shoving so close. All but George Gerbil, that is. George Gerbil still stood politely behind the other gerbils, even though his whiskers were jiggling because of the delicious fudge smells. Caramel fudge? asked the fudge judge. I never could stand it personally. But, he continued, putting a large piece in his mouth, I will judge it. All the gerbil eyes watch as the fudge judge tastes the fudge 
and frowned he most furiously. That caramel fudge, said the fudge judge, will not do at all. It is much too sticky. Page 18. All the little gerbils look at each other. How could all the fudge be either too soft, too sweet, too hard, or too sticky? That fudge judge was a strange fudge judge. Oh, how the gerbils would like to be fudge judges. Let us help, all the gerbils cried. Yes, we'll help. We'll taste the fudge. Give us some of the fudge. The little gerbils almost overcome with hunger and desire for the beautiful fudge were, I'm sorry to say, quite rude. Stepping on each other, pushing and choving, reaching and falling, just to buy a piece of fudge. Well, it was really disgraceful. The fudge man said, you may have just one piece each. Here is fudge for you and a piece for you, a nice piece of carrot fudge for you and a peanut butter fudge for you. Each gerbil got just one piece of fudge. What about your gerbil? How could anyone be so patient? Would your gerbil miss the fudge because he had stood back politely? The fudge man looked at George Gerbil. Page 19. And for you, George Gerbil, a special reward. You are without a doubt the most patient gerbil I have ever seen. I am sure you like fudge and I want to give you a piece of each kind of fudge. He reached in the truck. Here's a large piece of carob fudge, a large piece of white fudge, a large piece of caramel fudge, and a large piece of peanut butter fudge. All for you. He handed the four pieces of fudge to George Gerbil. Was it a good idea to be patient as George Gerbil was and not pushy? It certainly was. George Gerbil got four large pieces instead of one small one. What was even nicer was that when it was time for a new fudge judge to be chosen, guess who got the job? George Gerbil, that's who! He was one happy gerbil. If you think George Gerbil frowned and said, too sweet, too soft, too sticky, too hard, then you're mistaken. Every time George Gerbil tried a piece of fudge, his eyes light up, a happy smile came over his face and he said, Oh, delicious! Oh, that's lovely! Oh, what wonderful fudge! Yes, I believe that George Gerbil was the best fudge judge there has been seen. It all happened because George Gerbil was patient and didn't complain. George Gerbil just stood quietly without budging until it was time for him to get a piece of fudge. Now kids, we need to be patient too. When we're at school or at house, we need to be patient. We need to wait for our teachers, wait for our mommy and daddy, and not be pushy or complaining. That's what God wants us to do. Now, on your piece of animal science, page 21, draw a line from 1 to 10 and color the picture. On page 22, color George Gerbil and the Fudge Man. On page 23, color the gem. Color the big G shapes green and color the little G shapes blue. Thanks for watching. See you until next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe.